Welcome, everybody. This is a special edition of Denver Wine Radio. It is, and I'm really happy to be here. As always, I, I always am, but this, yeah. is, this is special because this is Portugal. Yeah, we're doing a special Portuguese wine show today, and um, we've got three Portuguese wines to taste, a white and two reds, all from the Douro Valley, and uh, we're going to talk about them. We're going to learn a little bit about Portuguese wines and see what we think. Yeah, well, Portugal is a, is a very interesting place. Um, the wines are very um, affordable. Um, if you recognize the name of a grape from Portugal, uh, I commend you because they are all different. And, and I, I learned some of them along the way, but um, I have to admit that I probably won't you yeah. know, get them right <laughs> the first time out. But I do like their wines. Um, uh, I guess we're, we're doing wines from the Douro Valley. Yeah, that's correct. So this is Douro Valley. Um, of course, Portugal is known for port, and um, these are not port. But because uh, the, the wines that do come out of Portugal are very good, a lot of value, extreme value compared to the price, and I'm, I'm excited to taste these. Yeah, you know, uh, just kind of a backdrop on, on the port wines. They've been growing grapes in Portugal I mean, for a long time. The, the Douro Valley um, is contoured. And that was done by the Roman soldiers, um, you know, probably 2,500 years ago or more. And um, so it's a very good place. But, you know, uh, a lot of the, uh, the wines that used to go to England, and um, because sometimes they would spoil on the way there, that's when they started to fortify wines and create the port-style wines so that they could get there without spoiling. And uh, it became... Um, you know, a, a whole enterprise of its own. But we're going we're gonna to be tasting some of those grapes today, correct? That's correct. Right. Well, let's get started. Oh, and then right. we'll talk about the area as we, as we go along. So, yeah, and as you mentioned, uh, yeah, they date back to the Roman times. Um, they were um, established in um, one of the first demarcated wine regions of Europe dating back to 1756. So Good this one, uh, this first wine we're doing is called White Velvet. From the Douro, this is a 2022 vintage, and uh, this is a blend of 60% Viocino, 20% Guveo, or, uh, or Guvio, <laughs> my Portuguese is bad, <laughs> and 20% Muscatel Gallego Branco. Yeah, I'm glad I, okay. I, I introduced these as being, you know, really kind of obscure grapes. Yes. Uh, that, that just proved my point. All right. Well, let's try it. Yeah, let's give it a whirl here and see. Lovely. Oh, yeah. Real, uh, Lovely. real big citrus uh, component right off the top. Ooh. Some flowers, like white floral. Yeah. Yeah. Um, quite a lot of fruit. I, I, I was expecting more minerality because of the, the soils yeah. that are in the Douro Valley. Usually they lend themselves to kind of a more steely, flinty, um, I don't even know, you know what the, the schist, I think, is you know, part of what they have there. But this is, this is really nice. It's oh, got, yeah. It's got a, a, a fair amount of body to it. It's not just light and, and refreshing. It's, it's actually got a backbone. Mm, yeah. Yeah, real, um, yeah, real bright citrus, great fruit. Mm -hmm. Finishes to me with like a little, um, some kind of citrus peel. Yep. But um, yep. very light, refreshing. Yep. This is good. Yeah, kind of soft acid. So it is not real harsh on the finish. It's yeah. you know it's very really, very nice. Yeah, this is a great easy drinker. Uh, I would say you know similar to a little similar to Sauvignon Blanc. I would say so. <clears throat> yeah. So tremendous. And again, I you know I would say that you know uh, it's got a very unique climate to it. It because it is one of the oldest growing regions in the world. You know they obviously knew what they were looking for when they started growing grapes there, and they were yeah. you know they grew in, in abundance. I forgot to mention that um, this is from the Carlos Alonso Duro Wine Company. All all three of these are from Carlos Alonso. Uh, they st go back to um, uh, 1985 is when their winery started, and using a real old world approach, uh, bringing back the you know the classic grape varieties, mm -hmm. using those that that are grown in in Portugal. So first one is uh, excellent. I like it. First one is. Is excellent. So, all right. Next up is uh, the red velvet, the uh, vino tinto. All right. What does it say actually? Or what does it say on the front? What are they actually calling it? Um, Probably vino tinto. 
Colita. Red Velvet. Yeah, Red Velvet. Uh, Colita. That's uh, that's the vintage. The vintage. Yeah. yeah. So this is 2021. Yeah. Uh, so this is a, a blend of 50 percent Tariga Franca, 25 percent Tariga Nacional, yep. and 25 percent Tinto Roriz, uh, which um, is Tempranillo. Yeah. And th- th- I mean, those are three of the classic port grapes. Correct. Yeah, especially uh, yeah. Tariga Nacional is a is a real famous one. Um, yeah, there even there used to be some uh, Tariga Nacional uh, planted in Colorado, oh, out on the western slope. Oh, yeah, very that. little bit. But, oh, uh, interesting. I haven't heard much about it lately. Well, again, I, I bet that has to do with the soils. Um, you know, some of that um, schist or shale and and that type of stuff. So yeah. All right. So um, nice. Yeah, real nice. Uh, Red, red fruit, dark, dark fruit. Yeah. yeah, dark fruit, ter- dark cherry, little strawberry on the top. Little sp- a little, little dried fruit, kind of. Yeah. I get like a little bit of a fig or something. Yeah, a little spiciness, yeah. like uh, oh, that's really nice too. cinnamon, uh, clove. Oh, that's another nice one. I mean, very soft tannin. Um, just, you know, the, I mean, the, the, it's not just all fruit. It's, it's, it's complex. It's got a nice, warm uh, tannin to it, but but not that drying aspect to it. Blends That's right. Really well with the fruit. Yeah, real good fruit. Some soft tannins, uh, but real nice. Carries all the way. This is fantastic. This yeah. is a great, great red wine. Yep. And when you when we after we taste the, I will give you the price point okay. after we finish oh, yeah. tasting the the final wine. Well, my my guess is just off the bat is it's. Uh, very affordable. That's kind of the you know to me the essence of of Portugal. If you can find Portuguese wines, they're usually they're they're a, a value wine. This is a twenty one vintage. Super delish. Agreed. Empty. All right. And the final. We'll look at the color on that. Yeah, a, lot, a big deeper color on this. All right. This is uh, Piano. Is the name of the label. Piano Red. A blend of fifty percent Tariga Franca. 20% Tariga Nacional, 15% Tinta Barroca, 15% Tinta Roriz. So a little bit of Tempranillo so, yet. Yeah, oh, so basically the uh, similar similar blend except an addition of uh, another grape. Yeah. Any idea what uh, Tariga Franca is? I mean, no, there, it's an indigenous grape for to, oh, it is to Portugal. In fact, that's... One of the <laughs> that's one of the secrets of, of Portugal is all, all their grapes are are indigenous grapes, yeah. with the exception of uh, the of Tempranillo, which yeah. they call Tinto Roriz. Yeah, well, and, and the, the Douro in particular, um, that area, again, because it's thousands of years old, continues to, to grow mostly the old indigenous grapes. Some of the other ports, parts of uh, Portugal, you know, they, they've brought in different grapes from around the world, and they're doing, you know, what's similar to... Um, um, you know, like super Tuscan kind of stuff. They're blending with, you know, uh, French grapes and things like that, but not so much in the Duro. They're, they're staying pretty close to uh, what's made them famous. This has a uh, deeper, a richer um, aroma to it yep. than the previous red. It's still, I, I'm, I'm intrigued by the soft character of these wines. You know, they're really pleasant. They fill your mouth you know, but but they're soft. There are no harsh harsh edges to it. Um, really nicely balanced. Uh, they, you know, obviously the good winemaker. He knows exactly what what the percentages are for the particular years that he's you know he's harvesting. And these are all uh, from the, the the primary like what's known as the DOC. So they're, they're they're very controlled in terms of you know how much acreage and how much per acre and and uh, harvesting and all that type of stuff. Yeah, they have uh, they have three classifications in Portugal. DOC being at the top, which means yeah, very restricted uh, geographical boundaries. Uh, I believe they have fourteen DOCs in Portugal. Then the next level down is the uh, IGP, which would be a geographical, so they can use no, is less restrictive. You can use different grapes, and then uh, then they have their uh, Table wine, or what they just called vino. Uh, yeah, vino. Yep. So, this is real nice. Very. Oh, th- these are these are all really good. Um, first of all, thank you for inviting me to you know be part of this. You're welcome. Um, it, it's really fun to taste some different things. 
Um, I've always been a fan of Portuguese uh, wines when you can find them. And, um, you know, I, I'm learning new things today. Thank you for the education. You're welcome. What else you got to tell me? <laughs> so this, um, this one comes off to me a little more oak mm -hmm. to it. Yep. So a little more vanilla, a little more of that toastiness. It's going to be a great wine for, for grilled meat, of course. And oh, yeah. Probably even some uh, double cream brie. What else you got for me? All right. I've got a special deal for you. Okay. Ooh, I love deals. All right. So these wines are offered by a friend of mine, PortugalWines.club. They imported these wines. They're not available in stores here locally. So they're, they're only available online. Three bottles for 50 bucks. Deal. That's a deal. Yeah. About 16 um, bucks a piece. Yeah. Ish. Yeah. And that, in fact, there's a discount code. Paul B. Use the discount code Paul B and you will get 10% off. So they offer them in three packs. They have uh, six packs and 12 packs. And then you can get them individually. You can get three of the white or, or you can get a mixed pack, but um, uh, six for $99. 10 off. You got, uh, you got 80, you know, 90, 90 bucks. That's a, that's a great deal. It's I like, feel like a real insider. You are. You know, <laughs> no, I got this information. You got the inside deal. So you want to check out shop.portugalwines.club. And remember the discount code Paul B. I will put it in the show notes, the show description, so that you have access to that. And hopefully you, you will enjoy these Portugal wines in your home. Believe it. That's all for today, Denver Wine Radio. Paul and John. Cheers.